Hello, and welcome back to the English Grammar Course. I am Marion, your native English teacher, and today we will be learning about articles. First, let's review the content from our last lesson. In our last video, we discussed nouns. Nouns refer to people, places, or things. For example, Lily put her hat on the table. There are three nouns in this sentence. Lily, which refers to a person, hat and table, which refer to objects, or things. Nouns refer to many things and can be classified into different categories. Common nouns refer to any type of people, places, or things. For example, the dog is under the umbrella. Dog is the name of an animal, and umbrella is the name of a thing. Proper nouns are used to refer to specific people, places, or things. For example, Joseph put the ball in the basket. We have one proper noun in this sentence, Joseph, which is capitalized with a J. Countable nouns are nouns you can count. For example, in the sentence, there are three candles in the bedroom. Candles and bedroom are countable nouns. One candle, two candles, three candles, four candles, etc., etc. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted, like liquids and abstract ideas. For example, in the sentence, there is no more milk and sugar in the kitchen. Milk and sugar cannot be counted. We never add an S to make the plural with uncountable nouns. They remain the same. Well done! Now it's time to move on to today's lesson. Articles There are three articles in the English language. A Un The And they must always be used with singular countable nouns. For example, a chair, an elephant, a man, the queen. Let's see some articles within a sentence. The woman is sleeping in a hotel. There are two nouns in this sentence. Woman and hotel. Therefore, we need two articles. The woman. A hotel. We do not need an article for proper nouns of people or places. For example, I like France. There is no article 
before France. I'm spending time with Mary. There is no article before Mary. The only exceptions are for certain countries that usually end with an S. For example, the United States of America, the Maldives, the Galapagos. Now, let's practice. Can you choose the correct sentence? There is a glass of water on the shelf. There is glass of water on the shelf. The first sentence is correct. Glass is a noun and therefore needs an article before it. A glass of water. A coat is necessary to live in Canada. A coat is necessary to live in the Canada. The first sentence is correct. Canada is a proper noun and the name of a place that does not end in S. Therefore, we do not need an article. I don't have suit for the event. I don't have a suit for the event. The second sentence is correct. Suit is a noun. Therefore, we need an article before it. A suit. Great work! Now there are two categories of articles, indefinite and definite. The indefinite articles are a, un. They refer to non-specific nouns. We use a in front of a consonant letter and un in front of a vowel. For example, a chair. Chair begins with a C, which is a consonant. Therefore, we use the article a. An elephant. Elephant starts with an E. Therefore, we use the article un. The vowels in English are a, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Now, can you choose the correct indefinite article for these words? Pig, mug, apple, jacket. Orange. The answers are a pig, a mug, an apple, a jacket, an orange. Great job! Now we use an indefinite article to talk about something for the first time. Often 
we use an indefinite article first, then follow it by the definite article the. For example, I saw a cat. The cat was black and white. In the first sentence, I saw a cat, we mention the cat for the first time. The listener might not know what cat I am referring to. In the second sentence, we mention cat for the second time. Therefore, we can use the definite article the. Let's have a closer look. The definite article the is used to refer to a specific person or thing. For example, I like looking at the moon. Moon is specific. There is only one. Can we go to the coffee shop I like? We don't mean any coffee shop. We mean a specific one. We can use the definite article the with uncountable nouns. For example, can you pass the sugar please? Sugar is uncountable. Therefore, we use the definite article the. The information you gave me is wrong. Information is an uncountable common noun. Therefore, we use the definite article the. Practice time. Now, can you decide which sentence is correct? I like to sit in a sun. I like to sit in the sun. The second sentence is correct. Sun is a specific thing. Drink the tea. Drink a tea. Tea is uncountable, so you must use the definite article the. Great work! Now, let's practice finding and identifying articles in this video. This clip is from a popular American sitcom or comedy TV show called Friends. In this clip, Ross Geller, one of the characters, tries to sell cookies to his friends. We will watch the video a first time normally, then we will watch it again slow down. Remember, try to find all the articles, both definite and indefinite. Let's go! And these come in the shapes of your favorite Christmas characters, Santa, Rudolph, and Baby Jesus. <laughs> All right, I'll take a box of the cream-filled Jesuses. <laughs> Wait a minute, one box? Come on, I'm trying to send a poor little girl to space camp. I'm putting you down for five boxes. Chandler, what about you? Uh, all right, do you have any uh, coconut-flavored deities? <laughs> no, but uh, there's coconut in the Hanukkah Menorios. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll put you down for eight boxes, one for each night. 
Mom? All right, I'll take one box of the mint treasures. One, and that's it. I started gaining weight after I joined the brown birds. Remember? Dad bought every one of my boxes and I ate them all. Uh, no, Mom, uh, Dad had to buy every one of your boxes because you ate them all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm sure that's not gonna happen this time. Why don't I just put you down for three of the mint treasures and just a couple of the Rudolphs? No. Oh, come on now. You know you want them. Don't, don't, don't do this. I'll tell you what, Ma. I'll give you the first box for free. Oh, God, I gotta go! Come on, all the cool kids are eating them. Now let's watch it again, but slow down to give you more chances of finding the articles. Pay no notice to the voices. Due to the audio slowing down, they have changed and sound a bit funny. So just enjoy it and focus on finding the articles. And these come in the shapes of your favorite Christmas characters. Santa, Rudolph, and Baby Jesus. All right. I'll take a box of the cream-filled Jesuses. Wait a minute, one box? Come on, I'm trying to send a poor little girl to space camp. I'm putting you down for five boxes. Chandler, what about you? Uh, all right, do you have any, um, coconut-flavored deities? <laughs> no, but, uh, there's coconut in the Hanukkah memorials. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I'll put you down for eight boxes, one for each night. Mom? All right, I'll take one box of the mint treasures. One, and that's it. I started gaining weight after I joined the brown birds. Remember? Dad bought every one of my boxes and I ate them all. I know, Mom, uh, Dad had to buy every one of your boxes because you ate them all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm sure that's not going to happen this time. Why don't I just put you down for three of the mint treasures and just a couple of the Rudolphs? No. Oh, come on now, you know you want to. Don't, don't, don't do this. I'll tell you what, Ma. I'll give you the first box for free. Oh, God, I got to go! Come on, all the cool kids are in, you know? Well done. In this clip, there was a total of 11 articles, 3 indefinite articles, and 8 definite articles. We find them in these sentences. And these come in the shapes of your favorite Christmas characters. I'll take a box of the cream-filled cheeses. I'm trying to send a poor little girl to space camp. No, but there's coconut in the Hanukkah menorios. I'll take one box of the mint treasures. I started gaining weight after I joined the brown birds. Why don't I just put you down for three of the mint treasures and just a couple of the Rudolphs? I'll give you the first box for free. Come on, all the... Cool kids are eating them. 
Well done, everybody. We finished our last practice. Now time for review. There are three articles in the English language. A, un, the. And they must always be used with singular countable nouns. A and un are indefinite articles. They refer to non-specific nouns. We use a in front of a consonant and un in front of a vowel. The is a definite article. We use it to refer to a specific person or thing or use it in front of an uncountable noun. We do not need an article for proper nouns of people or places. Well done today. Thank you for joining me in this lesson of the English Grammar Course. Next lesson, we will learn about quantifiers. See you then!